I'm very excited about today's interview. I've long been a fan of Herman's Hermits and Peter Noon, and the gentleman sitting next to me, Harvey Lisberg, well, he discovered Peter Noon and put together Herman's Hermits and managed them uh, for many years. And then he went on to manage 10CC. He had a, a lengthy career managing talent and sports figures and music figures. Welcome to the program. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I watch you daily. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about discovering Peter Noon and launching the career of Herman's Hermits. Yeah, well, uh, originally I was an accountant, uh, studying to be an accountant. I was bored out of my mind. I played the guitar and I played the, um, played the piano, so I wanted to write songs. I was writing songs and I wanted to get songs to people and they weren't that great and people rejected them. Everybody rejected my songs and I thought, well, maybe I should get a group and then maybe they'll do my songs. So um, I put an advert in the paper, it's in Manchester, England, Manchester Evening News, for groups and uh, we had the competition and I went to see this group in a little church hall and um, it was Herman and the Hermits and um, after each number the stage was charged by about a hundred girls screaming and I thought I've won the national lottery here. <laughs> this is it this is great I subsequently found out that they'd planted all their friends and relations in the audience <laughs> having been told told them that there was an American manager coming to look at the band so through that weird scenario we got I got Herman Sermit so I went back to his house and uh, the funny story there was I went to his house and I started playing um, um, tell me what I say, Ray Charles on the piano, just messing around. And Peter said, would you like to join the band? I said, no, <laughs> I've come to manage them and I want you to do my music. And of course, they did actually record the B-side to I'm Into Something Good, which was our first number one. That was the song that I co-wrote with my ex-partner. And uh, my father always had this sort of, he was a first violinist at his school and saxophone player in the army when he was in Italy during the war. And uh, he was, um, I won't say, um, not nasty, but kind of sarcastic about my music. Oh. But when I presented him the check that I'd received, which was for like £6,000. Changed his mind, didn't it? It bought them a house. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Herman's Hermits, uh, pr prior to the Beatles, they were incredibly successful. I had like f 15 number one hits in Great Britain. And well, we had tremendous. Tremendous success following the Beatles, really. Beatles opened up America for us. We worked, I, once I signed the band, I worked them like dogs. They were working, <laughs> no, they were working seven nights a week, doubles, trebles, ending up in Irish drinking clubs at two in the morning. And they were single. They had no wives, no mortgages, no two Ferraris in the garage. They were loaded. At the end of the week, they had 30 pound in cash each, they were, they were really rich, uh, as it was. Such great songs. Uh, you mentioned I'm Into Something Good, but also Henry VIII, which is a, a campy, fun song, yeah. which I love, but also songs like Mrs. Brown, You've Got a Lovely Daughter. And you and Peter Newton remain friends today. He still performs. Yeah, he's fantastic. He, he appeared at uh, a book launch we had in L.A. a couple of weeks ago, and he sang with his guitarist, tremendous guitarist called Vance, and um, they did about six numbers, and he's better than ever. His pattern now is incredible. Well, he's on Facebook quite often live. Yeah, I love Just it. I watch it. it. I'm it's, a fan. <laughs> uh, I, I wish we had more time because there's so much to get into, but I want to tell people about the book. It, it's called My Life, Managing 10CC Herman's Hermits and Many More. Uh, I'm into something good, and you can find it at Amazon. You can also find it at uh, Barnes & Noble and wherever books are sold. Uh, you're originally from Manchester, England, but you yeah. reside now here in, uh, in, in the Mirage, desert, Rancho yes. Mirage. Yeah. Well, Harvey, come back. We'll talk more about 10CC, and you go from the 60s to the 70s with another incredible group. I'd love to do that. Anytime. You just call me. <laughs> okay, great. Thank Thanks you. for coming on the Thank program. Thank you very much.